Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be doing some chuck roast burnt ends. All right, so we're gonna try and get these as close to as good as brisket burnt ends. I've done chuck roast burnt ends before and they come out really, really good. So today we'll go through the process and I'll show you what you need to do to get them as close to brisket burnt ends as possible. So we've just picked up this one kilo piece of chuck from our butcher at Austral Meats. And we're gonna start by seasoning it in our favorite rub. This is our new Low and Slow Basics Steak and Beef Rub. This is just a test jar, don't worry. I've got an awesome label design coming. Looks good, tastes even better. So grab your favorite beef rub and we'll start by seasoning our chuck roast with that. Now, if you've got any excess hard fat, trim it up, but this one's pretty good. So I'm happy to just season that as it is. So we'll go ahead and give it a nice even coverage. All right, so now our meat's seasoned up, we're gonna go ahead and set up our smoker. We're gonna be using the Oklahoma Joe's Bronco Drum Smoker today. So I'll show you quickly how I like to set it up. All right, so we've just taken our heat deflector out and we've got our charcoal basket full of briquettes. You can use charcoal or briquettes, whatever you like. Got a couple of fire lighters down here, so we'll go ahead and light them. And we're just gonna open up our vents, shut the lid and let that burn through, come up to temperature and the briquettes to catch a light. All right, so now our fire lighters have burnt away and the briquettes have caught a light. We can put a nice chunk of black wattle we're gonna use today. You could use something like cherry as well or something else that pairs nicely with beef. And then we're gonna put our heat deflector in. And then our cooking grate. And we're ready to put the beef in in a minute. All right, so our beef's got an awesome color. Our smoker is almost ready. What I'm gonna to do to stabilize the smoker off is once it gets up to about that 200 degrees Fahrenheit or 93 degrees Celsius range, I'm just gonna shut this intake vent down to number one. And then that should stabilize us off where we wanna be for this cook, which is gonna be at about 275 degrees Fahrenheit or 135 degrees Celsius. So we'll wait till our smoker is up to temperature and then we'll get the beef in. All right, so now our meat's in, the smoke is sitting beautifully at around that 275 or 135 degrees Celsius range. We're just gonna treat this like a little brisket now and we're just gonna leave it for a couple of hours until we're happy with that bark. So we'll come back soon. All right, we're about two hours in now. Let's open the lid, have a look, and we might even give it a little spritz. All right, so that's looking really nice. Getting a little bit of dryness around the edges there, so we'll just give it a light spritz with some apple cider vinegar. All right, so I was really happy with that color. It's coming along really nicely and our internal temperature was around that 160 Fahrenheit or 70 degrees Celsius. So we're not gonna leave it much longer before we wrap it. So probably another half an hour and we'll get it out and we'll wrap it up in some foil with some butter. So we'll come back soon. All right, it's been about 45 minutes longer. Happy as with the color. We'll have a quick look and then we'll wrap it up with a little bit of butter. All right, so now we're just gonna put it back and we're gonna leave it until we get about to 195 degrees Fahrenheit or about 90 degrees Celsius. And that's when we're gonna to go to our next stage. So we'll come back soon and I'll show you what we do next. All right, so it's been about another hour and we've hit our target internal of around that 195 degree Fahrenheit or 90 degrees Celsius. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the chuck out of the foil wrap and we're gonna dice it up into nice little burnt end size pieces.
All right, so they're gonna go back into the smoker until they are just probing like butter around that 205 Fahrenheit or 96-ish degrees Celsius. I don't think they're gonna need much longer. Probably another half an hour will do it. And if you're looking for a nice barbecue sauce, by all means, go ahead and use your favorite, but I'll put a link down in the description of a really nice recipe that we made a few weeks ago. So we'll just let it do its thing and we'll come back and we'll check it in half an hour. If it needs longer, we'll give it longer, or if they're ready, we'll get them out. All right, it's been about 25 minutes. Let's have a look. That's probing super tender. I'm happy with that, so let's get them out and have a taste. All right, it's time for a quick taste. Mmm. That's really, really good. That's it's nice and tender. Could have gone a little bit further, but wow, that's good. Is it as good as a brisket burnt end? No, I don't think they are, but well, they are pretty close to it. That's a good, cheap alternative to your brisket burnt ends. There's still so much flavour in there. They're tender, they're juicy. These ones probably could have gone a touch longer just to really, really tenderise them. But have a play around. There's heaps of different ways people do burnt ends. But that is tasty. You're going to enjoy that. Give it a shot. Let us know what you think or if you've done them a different way. I'd love to hear it. And apart from that, I'm going to go scoff these off camera. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.